how to reset the gap between the rocker arm and the valve stem on a D4F engine on a Renault Twingo. Remove the air filter box. Remove the cosmetic plastic cover. Remove the intake manifold here in purple. Finally, remove the valve cover here in yellow. Here is a bit explanations on this picture. Here in green you have the front of the car on which you can see the spark plug wells. On the left side you have the timing belt. On the right side you have the gearbox. And in red you have the rear of the car. And on the rear you have the exhaust rocker arms. In green we have the intake valve a rocker arm for cylinder number one, then comes cylinder number two, cylinder number three, and cylinder number four. In red we have the rocker arm of the exhaust valve of cylinder number one, then cylinder number two, three, and finally cylinder 4. You hold the adjusting screw with a flat screwdriver then you unfasten the nut. With a filler gauge you slide the filler gauge between the adjusting screw and the valve stem and you must slide the filler gauge with a certain resistance so it must not move freely you need some sort of resistance while the adjust is done then you hold back the adjusting screw and you fasten the nut the gap between the intake valve and the rocker arm must be between 0.05 millimeter and 0.12 millimeter. The, cap, the gap between the exhaust valve stem and the rocker arm must be between 0.15 millimeter and 0.22 millimeters. With a ratchet and a 19 millimeter socket, you turn clockwise the crankshaft until the exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number one is in low position then you can reset the gap uh, on intake rocker arm of cylinder number three and reset the gap on the exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number four continue to rotate the crankshaft until the rocker arm of cylinder exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number three reach its low position then you can reset the gap on intake rocker arm of cylinder number four and exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number two continue cranking until exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number four reaches a low uh, position then you can adjust the gap of a rocker arm intake rocker arm of cylinder number two and exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number one rotate the crankshaft again until the exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number two is in low position then you can adjust the gap for intake rocker arm of cylinder number one and exhaust rocker arm of cylinder number three 
thank you for watching and see you next time for more tutorials